Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a very special guest, man. We got Josh Uche with us. Josh, how you feeling? Feeling good, man. How you doing? Blessed, man. Can't complain. So, so yeah, let's jump so. right into it. Talk to me about, like, just your path and journey leading into, you know, you being an LB for the Patriots. Pretty much, man. I started, started off young. You know, uh, watching the Miami Hurricanes, watching Sean Taylor, Airy growing up. So jumped into flag football, played running back and stuff like that. And then um, Pop Warner came, played defensive end, nose guard, actually. And then I got so used to, you know, uh, playing defense, playing defensive line that, um, you know, I got to high school. They're like, all right, you're not big enough to play nose guard. We're going to put you on the end. Yeah. So defensive end came, pass rushing came. Then, um, yeah, then I went to Michigan, started doing both, like off-ball linebacker a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, now I'm here. So. Right there. So once you get to the league, right, so what's, like, the biggest thing you have to kind of, like, adjust to? Because, you know, some people, like, once they get, like, this crazy influx of money, then people got to adjust to that. Yeah. Some people got to adjust to the lifestyle, really just, like, going to practice and then, literally having the whole day to yourself like what's the biggest thing for you i just want to uh i'd say it's like just finding your routine yeah. you know like you don't got school no more you don't got your parents telling you what you what to do no more like <laughs> what you got next you right. know what I'm saying like you're growing up and it's like you just got to find a routine that allows you to be a professional you know yeah. taking care of your body getting the right amount of sleep and then also financially like living within your means you know like you don't got to keep up with everybody else you just got to you know, gain and maintain, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, you end up broke real quick trying to keep up with. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> trying to keep up with all the trends, like, yeah. you know, you just got to, you know, stay in your lane, do your thing. So. Yeah, like you said, live within your means, you know. Yeah. So what made you want to start, like, the conversation around mental health, especially with feeling like the NFL and just, you know, people like us and, you know, minority groups? I'd say, um, you know, it all started, Pretty much when I was younger, like my dad would always, you know, emphasize what my last name went, which meant, which is a uh, Nigerian. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm from, you know, my parents are immigrants from Nigeria. And uh, the name Uche actually translates to the word mind in English over from Igbo, my native language. And, uh, you know, so he always told us that growing up. And then um, got to college 2017. I had an injury that uh, kept me out the whole camp. And, you know, I was depressed. You know, it was a very hard time in my life. Those close to me know how difficult it was for me. And, you know, within that time, I started kind of reflecting and thinking like, man, like, you know, athletes shouldn't be going through this type of, you know, stress or depression, if you will, you know. So from then, I kind of just started building and, you know, thinking of different ways to support athletes or like different ways I could, you know, hopefully give back once I made it to the league. And, um, you know, because I feel like it's a conversation I've talked about enough. And, um, you know, especially within you know, the profession and also within minorities, you know, just growing up as a, you know, a black man, like, you know, your feelings isn't something you really talk about, but you're yeah. kind of told to be a man and toughen up, you know, so, um, yeah, like, I just started getting the ball rolling on that. Right. So, talk to me more about your own personal journey with mental health. I know you mentioned the injury and getting the press yeah. so fast. So, like, what were some, like, uh, support systems for you to get you through those, uh, through those times? My faith, you know, like the the faith my parents instilled in me growing up, like just always going to church and just, you know, relying on the Bible and um, right. just knowing throughout any hard times I was going through, I, I had a purpose and a meaning and that kind of kept me on track and just talking to my family and my friends and, you know, just keeping the people close to me that really believe in me and, right. you know, motivate me. Yeah. And that goes a long way when you have that kind of support system, you know? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Like, I'm learning, you know, this off season. I'm learning right now. Like, you know, family is everything. That bond, yeah. you know, family including friends as well. It's like yeah. the stronger that is, the farther you'll go. You know, so absolutely. So cool. So tell me about your foundation and how it came to fruition. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, it, it started like I said, you know, 2017 when I was injured. You know, I was actually in my room in a cast, and I just started typing away on my notes on my iPhone. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the title was Uche Foundation. And I just started, you know, piecing together things I would want to do if I got lucky enough to make it, right. you know, by, you know, God's grace, I made it. So 
you know, everything I kind of wrote down there back then when I was going through those tough times, I'm kind of starting to do now. So, you know, whether it's giving it back to kids, having football camps or different things just to kind of give kids a different avenue to like, like, know, like, you know, there's much more to this situation than, you know, what they think. Like there's good things happen, you know, whether it be random or whatever, like, you know, good things happen. So. Absolutely. And what kind of work you've been doing now with the foundation, the kind of people it's been affecting, you know, or helping rather. Yeah. So it's majority, it's primarily geared towards like minorities or kids, yeah. underprivileged kids. So, mm-hmm. you know, my first year in the league, we did a, you know, a target giveaway uh, at my former church, you know, that my mom used to go to, you know, Thanksgivings when we didn't have food or whatever, she would go over there to the, to the pantry and they would give back. So I felt like it was only right for me to give back and, um, you know, give back to families during COVID, you know, giving out masks and things like that. And then um, last year, did something with the Boys and Girls Club of Providence where we took kids on the shopping spree to dig sporting goods, you know, give them, give them athletic gear and things like right. that that they, you know, yeah. might need. So things like that and got a football camp coming up. So I'm just trying to get the ball rolling on this, right. on this stuff, you know. This, only the beginning. Yeah. Only the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Cool, but you know, you know, it's the purpose of having community voices and you know, elevating voices like yours to really speak on the things you're passionate about, especially mental health and just serving the community that you come from. You know, so on behalf of like GE and Finish Line, I want to thank you for your time and like your efforts in supporting the community. You know, we're gonna make a donation to your foundation to help you to help you continue doing the work you've been doing. So kudos to you, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, of course, of course. And I'll let you have, like, you know, the last words before we sign off. Man, I just want to say, you know, anything you put your mind to, you could do it. You know, um, we work out, we tend to lift, like, every part of our body, but Mm -hmm. we kind of neglect the most important one, which is the brain. So, you know, anything you put your mind to, you can achieve it. So that's all I got. Yes, sir. Amen to that. So thank you again, Josh. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for having me, bro. Yes, sir.